A leadership training on the ideology, vision and mission of the present administration has been organized for all youth heads in all communities across Edinburgh states. The capacity building training, which is organized by the Ministry of Youth Development, has as its theme, setting the right values for a livable and prosperous Edinburgh state. Maka Chibuzo Okoye has the details. In our welcome address during the program at the Government House Oka, the Commissioner for Youth Development, Mr. Patrick Aramba, said that the objective of the training is for the youth leaders to know and understand the new vision of government, adopt the right values as agents of change, and acquire the positive mindset needed to actualize the vision. Mr. Aramba reiterated the vision of Governor Chukuma Soludo, which is a livable and prosperous Anambra state, calling for their collective commitment, passion, and dedication to see that the vision comes to fruition. It is important that the youth are carried along in whatever government has as its vision based on the fact that they constitute over 65% of the active population. In a keynote address, the Commissioner for Local Government, Chieftaincy and Community Affairs, Mr. Tony Collins Wabwane, urged the youth to have positive mindset and be resilient in the face of challenges. Mr. Wabwane noted that as a youth leader, they should manage pressure and recognize youth's opportunity, leverage on them, improve self and demonstrate skills so as to become useful citizens. Today is of the youth. And the governor has made it possible for we, the youth, to be among his cabinet. And I must tell you that there must be change. That's why we're starting on this note, to make sure that things are no longer the way it used to be. You must come down to the level that people will continue to understand and feel the impact of government. Because the youth are the future leaders of tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. Also speaking, our guest speaker, Sir Clement Chukuka, who is the managing director of Anambra Small Business Agency, encouraged them to have diversified knowledge and prioritization, trust in team members, as well as the ability to inspire participants. If you have a creative idea, I'm telling you now, Your Excellency, Professor Udo Mbama, funding about the issue. It is the youth having the creative mindset on what to do. Contributing the public relations officer of the National Orientation Agency in Anambra State, Mr. Anthony Obiora, who spoke on the topic essential values for youth leaders as agents of change, charged them to work towards restoration of security of life and property in the separate species, the Deputy President, National Youth Council of Nigeria, Ambassador Innocent Ndwanya, the Chairman, Christian Association of Nigeria, Youth Wing, Mr. Kinsley Nwabez and Ms. Chinasa Orahue of the Nigerian Girls Guide Association commended Governor Soludo and Mr. Amba for organizing the program for the youth. From the government house, Oka Amaka Chibzo Okoye, ABS News.